So here we're going to make a change in data wedge. I'm trying to scan something or my application is using data wedge as its input method for scanned barcodes. But one thing that's very good to do is to optimize what barcodes that data wedge is going to scan. So if we open up the data wedge icon and what we're going to do is go into profile zero. Um, we're going to scroll down. Here we can see our scanner selection that's going to always best to be auto. But let's configure the scanner settings and let's configure the decoders. So to optimize this to make it scan faster, maybe you want to get rid of some of the barcode symbologies that you may never use. These are not common, but they can be, um, they could show up, maybe code 93, maybe not. Data metrics, pretty common. And here we're going to. GS1 is pretty common, QR codes, but an I-205 will add, uh, mail mark, maxi code, really not too common, PDF, those are fine, UPCA, UPCE. So we've made our changes, and we're going to go back. So now those are enabled. So I have this set on this device, but let's say I have 100 devices I need to deploy this to. So what I can do, I see here is my profile zero. Let's go into settings and we are going to we can have a choice export the current data web configuration or export just one profile um, we just do the whole configuration so here we see that it's being saved under Android data under data wedge and we're going to say export so if we go into our device we're going to change our settings so we can transfer, file transfer to files. We'll say we lose this for a second. So file transfer. So we're good there. Let's go to our, we see our TC here. We go into Android. We go into data. And we see data wedge down here. And here's the backup we just made, and we're going to save this off. Just put it in a folder here. So now we have, this is a backup of the configuration we made. So from here, we can deploy it to the device. And you can do that in two ways. If we go back into Data Wedge, and let's say this device was the one, it's a brand new device. We can take settings and we can import, import a data wedge configuration. And we can say, okay, here's the file. Now it was imported. So that meant you had to copy it to the device and then go in here and manually do it. Or you can automate this process and use stage now. So two ways to do that. If we go into stage now, we can create a profile that gets the file to the device, but then also with the device, if the data wedge profile file or configuration file exists on the internal storage, we can create a way to copy it. But the important part of this is this line right here. This is where it needs to go. So you take a note. So if you copy using ADB or using Stage Now, so you can just scan a barcode with Stage Now, or have your MDM get the file to the device and put it in this directory, or send it directly to this directory, that will automatically enable the settings. So this once this Data Wedge DB file that you create gets copied or sent to this folder, now your settings take effect automatically. So if you ever make a change, you want to make sure that change is reflected as well and sent to the device. So you can see here, data wedge DB is put into my root at storage card. And right now, you can see Aztec and Codabar and all these are at defaults. So if I open my device, open up stage now which is here and I scan my barcode 
I see that the scan was successful. So that meant that that profile sent the d configuration file to the correct directory. So if we say profile zero, we're going to say configure scanner settings, decoders. You see now Aztec is gone and my one that I put, I-205, is enabled and some of these others have changed. So you see the change was immediate. Thank you.